At Honda, we know you. How you sometimes need to get over that exit, like right now. Which is why we added available Lane Watch blind spot display to the all new Honda Accord. Hello, I'm Nelson Davis, your co-host for Making It TV Presents, and I'm an advocate for small business in America. And I'm Lynette Romero, a television reporter in Los Angeles and a big fan of entrepreneurs everywhere. Well, the sense of having a supportive community around us is desirable for everyone and is critically important for the development and health of small businesses. And when I say community, nonprofit service organizations are a valuable part of that mix. On this episode of Making It TV Presents, you'll see how one of the country's best-known corporate citizens, American Honda, builds partnerships with growing businesses and grassroots organizations. We're going to visit North Hollywood, California, where you'll meet Dana Haley, who has not just one, but two thriving businesses. And then we head to South Los Angeles to see how Honda works with the Challengers Boys and Girls Club to help build a stronger community. Well, Dana Haley arrived in Los Angeles in 1999 wanting to be a writer. And surprise, that's exactly what she became. But the City of Angels has a way of bringing latent entrepreneurial ambitions to the surface, and Dana was soon exploring business possibilities. It was the gift business that won her full attention. Dana's boss, radio and TV host Steve Harvey, helped her and two other employees in a gift basket venture by offering to match their seed money. In a short time, they sold enough baskets to earn a $15,000 profit. For Dana, that simply fanned the flames of her desire to have her very own business. In the daytime, she worked for others. And by night, she worked on her dream, already having learned that making customers happy was the key idea. Well, customer service is why I got in this business. I have a great love of people. It's a very genuine love of people, and I want them to be happy. Um, I believe that it starts at home. I love my team and I want them to be happy. I create an environment where they can come every day and I think that shines outward and it extends into, into our client base and I think that is the key. Dana Haley has definitely created a formula for success. She's developed not just one but two blossoming businesses. Gift Cetera sells high-end gifts and Cetera Marketing focuses on promotional items for corporate clients. Dana was working a full-time job as a writer for Disney when she began laying the groundwork to start her business. It was rough. <laughs> when I first started, it was very rough because with a, as, as a being a writer, you have very, very long hours. It's grueling. You're, that's your life. So to want to do something different and to come home and, and to be faced with that, I would roll off the couch um, after three hours sleep and go to work and then come home at 10 o'clock and start the process for building the business over again. Her perseverance paid off. Dana wrote a business plan that was a roadmap for the direction she wanted to pursue and worked with a designer to develop a new website. The challenges in an online gift company were plenty. Um, I can't list them all, there's so many, but they have a saying, if you build it they will come and they won't. Unless you understand marketing, online marketing, it's very, very difficult, um, which I knew nothing about. You go live, with your website and you think immediately you're going to get these these dollars and it doesn't happen unless you are proactive about online marketing which can be very costly but Dana was not defeated she had experience with corporate sales early on in her career so she decided to dig into her business toolbox and add to the roster of services she provided Setter marketing became vital when the economy took a downward spiral and we started looking at how we were operating and it just wasn't, the gift side was not where, where the money was at. So we had to change things. We began doing personalized items because companies always need to promote. Even, it will, especially in a challenged economy, promotion is key because they have to stay, they have to stay valid. Dana realized that she had to network aggressively to get her name out there and let people know about her business. The three things that I believe helped expand the business was one, forming a board. I believe that helped quite a bit. Friends, 
we, can, we came together once a month and they gave me great feedback on where they think the business should go and how it looked to them as an outsider. Um, I believe that joining the Southern California Minority Business Development Council was an amazing, amazing idea. And I know that that was what jump-started it. That's where I met Honda Motors. And that would be my third, Honda Motors. American Honda, I couldn't ask for a better mentor company. They have been instrumental in growing the business. I really don't believe I would have gotten where I've gotten as quickly had they not taken me under their wing. Charles Harmon has been instrumental along with Tony Piazza. They have really, really, they've taken me to events. They've introduced me to other corporate clients and, and they've been very helpful and catapulting the business to the next level. Another key to Cetera Marketing's growth was having well-known clients and using her experience with them to land other corporate customers. She was recognized by the Southern California Minority Business Development Council with a Supplier of the Year Award in 2011. Cetera Marketing is marketing based. So we'd like to find out what our client's end goal is with every promotion. So we would ask them who is their target market and what message they're trying to convey while, while promoting this project. And from there, we make suggestions. And those suggestions will protect the brand. That is, our, that is key when you're working with corporate clients, is protecting that brand. That's their number one asset. Dana is a dedicated business owner and has developed the habit of going the extra mile to meet her clients' needs, even on her most challenging days. Throwing in the towel with this business is never an option. It's not an option. I love this business. I believe when I wake up every day that I am, I have a gift of being happy. This company gives me so much and I just want to give back to it. I love what I do and I, I wake up every day appreciative. So throwing in the towel would never be. On my worst day, I just remember my goal and my overall goal is to win. It was interesting to note that Dana had spent a lot of time and money developing a website as an online sales platform when she launched Giftcetera, only to find that customers didn't show up. Even in this internet era, she learned that face-to-face -face sales and hand-to-hand -hand marketing can't be replaced by purely electronic means. In part two of today's Making It TV Presents, you'll see how the Challengers Boys and Girls Club in Central Los Angeles, California has developed an interesting partnership with American Honda. At Honda, we know you. And how you don't always see everything coming. Which is why we added available forward collision warning to the all-new Honda Accord.